Hi everyone, I'm Chris and I'm going to show you how to measure out and set out your building site. The first thing you need to do is work off your site plan measurements to locate the first corner of your building. Okay, so what we've done is we've just measured out from each side of our boundary and this is roughly where our first pier hole is going to go. Um, so now that we know this location, what we're going to do is um, set up a profile here or, or batter boards. Um, so they'll just sit outside. So this is going to be about a 450 mil diameter hole. So we need to make sure we leave enough for that hole to be drilled. So we'll set it up back here somewhere. The first thing we want to do is screw these two longer bits together. From that, we're going to then put these three in the ground. So as long as you've got enough space, about 450 mil, I want this to be set back somewhere like that. With this, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with where this will sit. And that's the starting point. So I'm just gonna put these three in the ground now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this up here to, so I want my, well my concrete ends to be roughly 100 to 150 mil above ground level and the pad's pretty flat now. So I'm going, to, I'm going to set this one, the first one at 125 and then we're going to mark out the other ones and I can always adjust this later on if, if we need to go a bit higher or a bit lower. But as long as all of them come in between um, 100 and 125 out of the ground, that should be fine. The next thing you need to do is measure out the rough location of the other three corners. So you have a rough location of all four corners in total. However, do not put any batter boards in just yet because I'm going to show you how to get the exact location to make sure your building will be square. Basically what we're doing is we've just, we've got our four corners in the rough spot, but we need to get it square. If your building's not square, then um, your, your whole building's gonna be out obviously. So your foundations are one of the most important um, places to spend time on the build. One of the most effective ways to check for square is by using the 3-4-5 method, which is basically Pythagoras theorem. This draws from the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. To use this practically, simply measure 3 meters one way and make a mark, which is a squared on the diagram. Measure 4 meters the other way, make a mark, which would be b squared on the diagram, and then measure between these two points. If you get 5 meters between the two points you measured, your building is square. If you get more than five meters or less than five meters, your building is skewed to one side and you will need to adjust the direction of one of the sides until you measure five meters between these two points. Now, the further you go with this is in like, say for example, like with us, we've got basically a, a seven meter by 12 meter building. So what you can do, instead of doing three, four, five, you can double the three and the four. So you get six and eight and then your diagonal should be 10. So you should if you measure, measure six meters on one side, eight meters on the other side, then your, then copper two, um, then your diagonal should be 10 meters. So we've just done that. Um, and that will be more accurate, obviously, than doing the three, four, five method because you, you're measuring further along and checking the diagonal, which means obviously you, you're making sure that that line's not moving out at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we've made up the next one. This is our second one. What we're going to do is do the same process, so we'll hit all these in around. Um, but once we've got those in, we won't set the height of this until we've actually run the string line from the other one. So we want to make sure that this is obviously going to be level um, across the whole block. So same process, um, we hit these three in, set this one square, run our string line, and then we can start leveling these up as well. So when you're doing your batter boards, there's a couple of different ways you can level them up. So the best way to do it is with the laser. So you've got the laser here and you've got the staff. So what you want to do, I'll just show you here with this one. With the first one you get in your first batter boards, you just want to put it on top once you've got it level. And then you just want to adjust this one um, so that you, you can get it to the right height. So this will basically start beeping when it's at the right height with the laser. And then that way you can take this around for each, um, each lot of batter boards and it will just make sure that it's level for you. So you basically just take it higher or take it lower. There'll be an arrow that pops up here telling you which way it needs to go. And you've got to level at the top as well. So this is a much quicker way to do it um, and more accurate as well. The other way you can do it is you can run a string line, but then you have to rely on the little building string levels and they're not as accurate. So this is definitely the way to go if you can. So we're just gonna run around, double check everything with this, run out our string lines and we should be good to go. 
as you can see string lines just touching at the edge of that timber there where the first pier hole will go and run it out to this side and it's where this screw is now it's just touching here as well which is what we want well, when you're putting your pegs in um, just make sure that you're not going to put them in line with where you need to run the string line like I have. I'm just going to turn the camera around. You can see where we need to run the string line for this one is going to almost line up exactly with where our peg is, which is not what we want. So just make sure you leave enough clearance. Once we've got a string line between all four corners, everything else becomes so much easier. It's just literally dropping a, a plumb bob on, on a bit of string um, wherever we think we've got the pier holes. And then to, uh, later today, we'll be able to start drilling. So we'll be drilling the holes. If you would like to double check your building is perfectly square, you can use your measurements in the A squared plus B squared equals C squared formula. Simply enter the length and width of your building to calculate A squared and B squared, then add them together to get C squared. Then finally, calculate the square root of C squared to get the diagonal measurement. If it matches exactly when you measure it out, your building should be perfectly square. And this should work for any square or rectangular building. Now, once you've got your corners marked and the string lines run between them, it becomes a whole lot easier to measure each row of piers you need and run the string lines across, knowing it's all already square.